Hi everyone, I'm Victoria and in today's video, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step guide on how to create an online store using the AI-powered Hostinger website builder. Let's begin, shall we? Creating an online store is one of the most promising ways to earn extra income. Since there are plenty of online resources for creating an online store nowadays, starting your entrepreneurship journey can be relatively easy. Oh, and the best part? Today's AI technology can make your website building journey even easier. So you don't need the years of experience and technical skills to build a website in several minutes. To give you a clearer picture of how easy it is to create an online store website, I'll demonstrate each step using the AI-powered Hostinger Website Builder. The first step is to purchase a hosting plan. Head to hostinger.com website builder. You can also find the link in the description below. This package will give you plenty of resources to kickstart your online store. Once your business gets more traffic, you can easily scale up your hosting plan and still get unlimited access to Website Builder. Now click Add to Cart and let's choose the 48-month subscription plan. It will save you more than paying monthly and you'll get a free domain for one year. Continue with the checkout by creating a Hostinger account. You can use your email to register or also Google or Facebook account. Complete the necessary steps, then scroll down to select your preferred payment method. Don't forget to apply the coupon code WB10 for an additional 10% discount. Once your payment is confirmed, log into your hosting account. Now we get to the fun part, setting up the website. You'll see your freshly acquired hosting plan here. Click Setup button. Select Create a new website, then choose Hostinger Website Builder with AI. You'll be asked to create a domain name on the next step. If you already have one, connect it by clicking Use an existing domain. You can also create a new domain name. For now, let's skip this step. Let's select Choose a domain later. There are two ways to create a website with Hostinger Website Builder. If you choose this option, you'll get to pick a designer-made online store website template and customize the website components later. Let's use the AI tool by clicking this button. With this built-in AI-based tool, you can get a basic website ready by simply entering your brand name, choosing the website type, and describing your website in a few sentences. You can view an example by clicking this option if you need help figuring out how to prepare the description. Copy and paste the content, then tweak it according to your business information and as detailed as you want. For example, you can add more descriptions of your site's color palette, background image, or short company profile. The progress bar below should turn green once you have an accurate website generation result. Click Create a website. Now wait a few moments to let the AI magic happen. Finally, here's your online store website. Scroll down to skim your newly generated website and review the AI written landing page copy. Also, check the automatically generated about and contact pages to see if they fit your preference. If you aren't satisfied with the result, you can return to the AI form and edit the website description. The AI tool will generate a new website version for you. As we want to always improve our service, we would happily hear your feedback. Leave your thoughts here to let us know what we should improve. If the initial website design looks good, let's continue to tweak the site's elements individually. Even though you have an entire site ready, changing the necessary website elements is essential to build your branding strategy. Key branding factors include color schemes, fonts, website images, and layout. Color scheme plays a significant role in conveying your brand's personality and invoking specific emotions in visitors. An excellent practice is to use the same color palette for all your online store platforms. You can add the color palette by clicking this website styles icon. Under the colors tab, you can arrange your website's global colors. Pick a color or change the code here. For example, if you want to change this landing page's background color, simply click Edit Section, Change Section Color, and you will see your customized color palette. Next, ensuring that your logo, typography, and overall visual style align with your store's identity will guarantee great brand consistency. The Web Builder's AI tool will generate a text logo by default. 
but if you already have a logo prepared, select the header element and click edit. Go to the logo tab, then replace image. Click upload files to add your logo file. If you still don't have a logo and want one, use Hostinger's AI logo maker. Go to the AI tools, choose logo maker, fill in the necessary details, then click start creating. Select your preferred icon style and allow the AI tool to generate logo variants. At this step, know that every logo generation process costs a credit. You'll get three credits for free, but if you need more, a package of 50 credits will cost you $5. Scroll down to see if there is a logo that you like. Download the file of your favorite one or tweak the elements to your liking. Now let's go back to your website. Another crucial factor to customize is the font style. Go to Styles, pick the Text tab. There are several font style combinations for headings and paragraphs. Click one and see how it appears directly on the page. Another option is to manually edit the font style combination to your preference. Here you can customize the font style of your headings and paragraphs all over your website. The next crucial website element is layout. Every website made using Hostinger Website Builder is mobile friendly by default which means it will automatically adjust screen sizes no matter the device. For now, let's focus on creating user-friendly navigation elements and content arrangements to enhance the overall user experience. To do so, click the Pages and Navigation menu. Move each page's display on the header by dragging and dropping it like this. If you have more information to show on your homepage, tweak the information to your liking or add more landing page sections by clicking this button. If you prefer adding or moving the provided information to a whole website page, go back to Pages and Navigation, click Add Page. You can create a blank page or choose one of the templates here. Several pages to consider adding are Frequently Asked Questions page, Legal or Return Policy. Review each page you created and proofread all the text to spot any typos or other errors. To tweak something, click the text, choose Edit to manually change it, or use the AI Assist tool to create a new piece of AI-generated text. Describe how you want the text to appear and click Generate Text. If you need help creating more written content, access the AI Writer tool from the sidebar menu and follow the instructions to generate new content. AI heat map is another excellent and helpful tool you can benefit from. It lets you see which parts of the website draw your visitors' attention the most. That way, you can place essential information there to get the better results. Exit the tool by clicking this button in the left corner. Next, our AI-generated website automatically added social media icons and contact form pages at the very end of the homepage. Make necessary changes to the form and add your social media links by clicking the Edit button on each element. Before we move on, know that Hostinger Website Builder has a mobile app version allowing you to tweak your website on the go. There will be many new features in the future, so don't forget to follow us on social media to learn all about the latest updates. In the meantime, if you need further guidance to customize website elements, navigate to our other video tutorial. I'll drop the link in the description. Once satisfied with your website's appearance, enable the e-commerce functionality to access the store management area. Click this online store button to enter the e-commerce management tool. Fill in your online store's name, then continue by stating your business, original location, and the currency you want to use. This store setup checklist will guide you in the completing the site's online store functionalities. I'll walk you through each of them. Click Add Products from the Setup Checklist, then choose your product type. I'm choosing Physical as an example. Fill in all the necessary information to better describe your product. You can also add options if you offer different colors or materials, for example. The AI tool also generated several products to be visible on your site's homepage. Tweak these entries by clicking the three dots menu and choose Edit. Once all the products are set, use the Categories feature to group products for easier navigation. Go to Categories menu and click Assign products to do so. Next, go back to the dashboard and go to the second task, Add Online Payment. 
In fact, you can enable online or offline payments on your website. However, with the latter option, you'll need to approve all orders made individually, which will cost a lot of time. Therefore, I recommend choosing online payment. Hosting your website builder supports three payment gateways, PayPal, Stripe, and Kevin. Each option offers multiple payment methods such as bank cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal credits, or directly from the European and EEA banks specifically if you wish to use Kevin. Remember that you may only see some of those options depending on your country. For example, Kevin isn't supported in most of Asia, so you won't see the option if you live there. Consider carefully the payment method you want to provide for your customers. Find out each payment solution policy as every transaction may have a fee attached. Once you decide on the payment method, click connect and follow the steps required to accept customer payments. The last store setup checklist is reviewing company information. Here you can change your business details like the official company name, business logo and contact details. Everything you list on this page will appear on your store invoices. After completing the checklist, peruse other options under store settings. You can change your store name, currency and preferred units of measurement by going to store details. Then specify the delivery options you want to offer under the shipping menu. Choose your shipping zones. It's possible to have several different regions set. Moreover, you can define other shipping options for the zone below the region settings. For instance, you can create a free shipping option for a certain minimum order price. Next is the checkout settings page. In the first section, you can add a checkbox with links to your store's policies so your customers can read them before making a purchase. If you want to activate this feature, set up the legal pages beforehand. Under that are the options to add more information, such as phone numbers during the checkout. You can also change your checkout language by clicking the drop-down menu at the bottom of the page. This will change the language used in the shopping bag, checkout process and a few product page messages. The emails menu lets you check the emails sent to customers for various purposes, including order confirmations, shipping updates and digital file download links. To see how the emails would appear to customers, click preview next to the email type. Go to the invoice page to tweak what appears on every invoice. You can change the invoice's title, unique identifier number, or optional information such as a tax ID. The site builder also has a feature allowing you to manually enter tax rates for physical products and services. To access this, find the taxes page. Moving on to your site's SEO settings. These are important to improve your business's online presence. Don't worry if you're a beginner in managing a site's SEO. Hosting your website builder provides a comprehensive on-page guide, so you just need to complete all the necessary information. To find the general SEO settings, click Website Settings, then choose SEO. You'll have to fill in some information about the website, such as business name, the site's purpose and description, and the keywords related to your site's content. In the general SEO settings, you can find quick links to valuable resources on improving your site's SEO. The section below it shows SEO opportunities on different parts of your website. Follow these suggestions to improve your site's performance on search engines such as Google. Access the SEO settings for a specific page by going to Pages and Navigation. Click the gear icon next to the site you want to configure and choose SEO settings. Here you can add the SEO title, meta description and keywords for each page's content. This information helps search engines understand every page's context and show it on the right search results. As you maintain an online store, you can also configure tailored SEO settings per product pages. At this point, your online store website is ready to be published. Double check your site's content appearance and overall navigation experience using the preview mode. As we skipped setting up a domain name earlier, don't forget to connect an existing one or claim your free domain name before publishing the website. Doing so will improve your site's accessibility and memorability, 
as it will be easier to pronounce than this free generated domain name. Hover over the preview domain name at the top panel and click connect your own domain. If you want to launch your website early while still working on unfinished pages, you can hide them from the navigation menu. Go to pages and navigation and drag the unfinished pages to the hidden from navigation section. Ensure the page you want to show is set as a home page. Personalize it as you like, for example, by stating that your online store is coming soon or on soft launching. Once you're sure that everything is ready, click go live to publish your website online. Hosting your website builder automatically creates and stores backups on its databases. So when you publish your website, a backup file will be also created. After that, backups will be automatically generated each time you update the website. If you want to restore any backups version, hover over the save button and click see available backups. Choose the version you want, then click restore to make that version appear in the site editor. Just don't forget to click update once you're done. So that's how you can create an online store using Hosting Guru Website Builder quickly and easily. Leave your thoughts and questions about hosting your website builder in the comments below. And if you need further guidance, read the support page that is linked in the description. Don't forget to subscribe for more website development tips to build your online store. Thanks for watching and good luck on your online journey.